This time we're going to construct a parallel line that goes through a point that's not on the line. Now before I get into that, one of the most common errors that students make when trying to do this question on a quiz or a test is that they are given this question and then they construct the perpendicular. I don't know why, but it happens a lot. I know they both start with P, but somehow, someway, you've got to actually read the word and process what it means. It is an incredibly common error that students make. Now two of the more common ways to prove lines parallel are the converse of the corresponding angles postulate and the converse of the altered interior angles theorem. That's why I actually have two pictures here, one to show you how to do it with the corresponding angles and one how to do it with the alternate interior angles. For both of them, we need to actually make our transversal. Most people actually start from this end point here. You don't actually have to. You can actually go from anywhere. We're just going to make some sort of transversal that goes through the point that we were given. So I have my transversals. Now I want to make corresponding angles which are congruent. Because if the corresponding angles are congruent, then by the converse of that postulate, I know the lines are parallel. So I need to actually copy the angle. So we need to go back to our copy angle construction. Make this compass open up to any size which is convenient for you. And you need to make one arc on the angle you're trying to copy. And you're going to make another arc on the place you want to copy it at. I want to make corresponding angles right here, which are congruent. Now most times when people copy an angle, they go from bottom to top. We're actually going to measure this here, but I can't go from the bottom here. I don't know where this arc has to end. So we go from this intersection point and we actually go top to bottom for this one. And we make it like that. Now simply connect the dots. And there's my parallel lines. I have made corresponding angles which are congruent. And by the converse of the corresponding angles postulate, that means those lines are parallel. Now I could have done alternate interior angles, and this is actually quite popular among students, so if you prefer to do it this way, by all means do it this way. But I do need to copy an angle again, so that's how we're going to start the same way. I'm going to make an arc on the angle I want to copy, but this time I'm going to do the alternate interior. I'm going to put it over here so that I make this lovely classic Z pattern that the alternate interior angles always have. So this time I'm going to put my arc down this way. Again, I need to measure the intersections to see how wide those are. And that's how you make parallel lines using the converse of the alternate interior angles theorem. 